Duchess of Cambridge, has sent royal fans swooning after photos and a video showed her gazing lovingly at her husband wearing his military uniform during a parade in Jamaica. Prince William, 39, and Kate, 40, rounded off their trip to Jamaica by attending an inaugural commissioning parade of the Jamaican Defence Force. The event celebrates service personnel who have recently completed the Caribbean Military Academy's officer training program. For the ceremony in the Jamaican capital, Kingston, the Duke of Cambridge wore his white tropical dress of the Blues and Royals. The tropical dress of the Blues and Royals is also known as the officer and a gentleman attire. The white uniform is used for tropical settings and was recently worn by Prince Harry during the opening of the Invitus Games in Sydney back in 2018. Proudly displaying his collection of military medals, Prince William appeared alongside his wife who looked glamorous in a white Alexander McQueen dress and Philip Treacy hat. Royal fans were delighted when they spotted what appeared to be a candid moment for the couple. Footage from the event shows Kate smiling and gazing at her husband as he adjusted his uniform and took a seat at the event. One royal fan commented, she just couldn't stop looking at him. While another added, what is it Catherine, I can't blame her. Her husband is so handsome in his uniform. A third added, she's being more controlled about it than I would have been. One more said, Catherine couldn't stop looking at William with his uniform and is like is everything okay, after calling him. Also look at them sharing cheeky smiles. After the march concluded, Prince William made reference to his own military experience during a speech. He said, I know very well from my own time at the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst what a formative experience this year will have been. Today you marked the successful completion of your training program in the classrooms, on the parade squares and in the exercise areas. But remember, this is just the beginning. Because now the hard work really starts, as you join your units and assume command. You are graduating today as officers into an uncertain world. In your service ahead you will have to contend with climatic, geological, criminal and wider state and non-state threats to our collective safety, security and prosperity. William then went on to mention his grandmother, the Queen, as the tour forms part of the celebrations for her historic 70-year reign. He said, as Catherine and I visit Jamaica in celebration of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, I thought I might quote my grandmother on the subject. In an address to the United Nations General Assembly in 2010, she said, I know of no single formula for success, but over the years I have observed that some attributes of leadership are universal, and are often about finding ways of encouraging people to combine their efforts, their talents, their insights, their enthusiasm and their inspiration, to work together. I think that's a very good model to follow. The Duke and Duchess left the event standing up in a red carpet lined Land Rover, which was used by the Queen from the 1960s during tours of the Caribbean country. The Queen and Prince Philip visited Jamaica in 1953, six months after her coronation. William and Kate were driven past stands of dignitaries and families who had watched the inaugural commissioning parade for dozens of Caribbean officer cadets. The ceremonial events followed William's denouncement of slavery as abhorrent during a speech on Wednesday evening when he said, it should never have happened. During the couple's royal tour, they have faced a series of protests including ones in Jamaica where campaigners are calling for reparations for slavery from the royal family.